Yo, good morning, welcome back, chat to yet another city builder, one you may have already seen on the channel before, but good enough to try again and has quite a lengthy demo that, uh, of course, in a city builder takes a little bit of time and that's what we're going to spend our time doing this morning. So welcome back, good to see you all here for Pioneers of Pagonia, free demos on Steam right now uh, during Steam's next event, which ends on Sunday, but the event, you know, like certain demos might continue past that. So, uh, yeah, I highly encourage you all to jump on Steam and start downloading games of all the genres that you enjoy. City Builder, First Person Shooter, Survival Game, and more. Oh, hold on. Heroic Music. There we go. Wild out here. Uh, let's see, this is the demo version of Pioneer's Pagodia that is uh, restricted in content and does not reflect the quality and scope of the final game. You can only place a limited amount of buildings and claim a limited amount of territory. Ah. They updated that to uh, say that, and that wasn't there when I played before. Bum, bum. All right, if we run out of time to play this game today, too, there's probably some other city builders that we can dabble in as well. So, <clears throat> for those of you who uh, frequent the channel, don't be afraid to uh, suggest some other city builders that we can try out uh, this morning. Hopefully something new that's not on my list. Um, I want to play it first in a video and then come on back for a live stream because then we can take a deeper dive into certain things. All right, so this one seems to feature three different maps, too. Rich Forest Map wet grassland map and then a dry rocks map so there certainly is a lot of um like three different maps for the demo which is which is pretty good but um anyway yeah so if you're a big fan of the settlers this is from the exact same people so there'll be a lot of similarities no uh, no surprise on that one build a city and space engineers actually there's a really good uh, space builder out there called the crust and we'll take a look at that uh, pretty soon too Am I excited for City Skylines 2? I am. We'll be pay, uh, we'll be uh, playing that, I think, next week. Next week. They've uh, moved some things around with their final version and are getting some uh, final things ready before they let us show it. So, you know, fair enough. Like, don't give us something broken and incomplete. Yeah, like, take all the time you need. I, 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 would, I, I, I think gamers would be less upset about a game that's delayed and then turns out to be good than a game that's rushed and then fixed later. You know what I mean? So if a developer ever has to, you know, put up the whole here at blah, 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 we're sorry, and we have to delay the game, that's fine. Delay. That's fine. If it's not ready, delay. No. That's fine. All right. <clears throat> well, anyway, welcome back. Good to see you all here. Thank you very much for subscribing to the channel. Thanks for all the likes. Thank you very much for watching and becoming members and dropping member bombs. Exclamation point gift to get one of those awesome memberships or exclamation point join us to become a member right now right now you can join and get all those emotes and more all right and we got some great halloween themed ones too bear barrowween there's some pretty good ones so enjoy all right let's get started with the pioneers of pagonia we'll start on the rich forest map play until we hit whatever limits that they uh, have set for us in the demo and then we'll move on to like the wet grassland map and dry rocks map Unless we find some other cool city builder to try out for Steam's next event happening right now. Let's go. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, we need some more space builders. I certainly think we like the uh, early, like pre modern city builders, though. Like anything that's medieval or before, you know, like gunpowder, age of sail type things, anything pre industrial revolution. Or even just Industrial Revolution. Like, Anno is fantastic. Like, most of Anno is played without cars. In fact, the biggest thing is the ships. Like, steamships and stuff. That's cool. And I love that we get a ship. 
I like this a lot, by the way. The fact that we arrive via ship uh, to colonize new lands is pretty cool. Rather than just, um, you know, like a, a, a box or like a little town hall or something in the middle of nowhere. It kind of uh, ties it all together. Farthest Frontier? I'm waiting on that one, too. Voxel Tycoon. I'm not sure if I played that one yet. Maybe. Well, we can see all of our goods on the ship. Coal, tools, bow and arrow. Stone, cloth. That's a nice looking ship. Yeah, I heard about that Star Trek game, but I don't know anything about it yet. I'll have to look into that. Alright, uh, I think we're going to get started by doing uh, some of the construction stuff. So let's start with like woodcutting and uh, quarry and sawmill, that kind of thing. And I think what I'll do... I'm going to try to build our town here, so I think we're going to try to put our sawmill here. Yeah, the grass in this game looks pretty good. And there's, like, rocks mixed in and little bushes and tree, um, like, flowers and stuff. I appreciate that. Devs are getting really good at detailing just the generic landscapes. All right, quarry is next. And we'll build a quarry right here. And we need to build a sawmill. Oh yeah, I did see that game, Train Yard Simulator. It, it's essentially like building your own layout. I'm not sure if that one's just visually, like, kind of like doing a model, or if there's actually uh, something you get for making deliveries and stuff in it. But yeah, I saw Train Yard Simulator too. I haven't looked into it too much though. So, wait, do we want a stonemason? Yeah. Okay, and Explorer's Hut. Now we can put that up here. And then we need to put up uh, <clears throat> two guard towers. So we'll do east and west. And we can always build those after we explore a little bit more territory, though. So we'll do that. All right, let's build some roads. Roads? Chat, we're going to build some roads. Roads. Is there a way to make a curved road? I think we can only make them at angles. Yeah. Oh, well. Actually, let's do this. I'm going to build a main road here. It's kind of cool. The people who start construction are bringing all the stuff off the off the boat and then bringing it right to where it needs to go in the city.
Okay, and an explorer's hut. Well, that'll go right there. That looks nice. All right, let's get a route going to the boat. All right, that looks good. I also don't think there's a way to speed up time in this game or this demo, so we gotta kinda like just wait. But also it's a demo, so if we speed up time we're just gonna finish early and it's like, well, that doesn't give us as much time to explore. I will build the guard towers after we get a few more things down, brother. Vamp bears. There's no bears in these here woods, chat. Ain't no bears in these here woods. That's why we settled here. It's a safe place. To start a family. Because when you're here, you're family. Do I still have that one? Where is that one? Uh... When you're here, you're family. That's right. Oh, I hear Sims language. Herber, herber, her. Look at all those people, dude. It would be kind of cool if they like brought a cart out or something, but they do carry things over one at a time, so one log or one stone per person, I guess. Although we do have a pretty huge population. Look at this. We start with 329 people. So uh, that's that's a lot. And they don't even want us to build houses. First, we got to build the stuff to build the houses. So yeah, if you're going to build some houses, yeah, you got to have a logging camp first. I mean, we did start with some material, like um, 117 trunks. But to build a house, what does that cost? Three. Oh, well, <laughs> the game should have us build houses first. But then again, you start with such a limited territory that the first thing you want to do is, like, clear out the forest. It reminds me of, like, Foundation, where not only the look of the game, but also in Foundation, it's often smart to, like, clear out an area of a forest and then just kind of replant it somewhere else and do the whole forestry building. Although in this game, they cut down trees so fast, you almost want, like, uh, two forestry buildings overlapping each other. Um, and it might be a good idea not to have... You know, like your hunting lodge and gatherer and all that in one spot. We might have to do that for the demo, though, because we're, again, we're limited with, like, space and the number of buildings, so. <laughs> this reminds me of getting off cruise ships, yeah. Yeah, they walk in line, you know, right lane, left lane. I uh, We recently played Builders of Egypt, and that seemed to be a little bit more natural. But I think one of the games that really impressed me with how people would walk around is um, in, like, Planet Zoo and Planet Coaster, because people will kind of stick in groups and whatnot. But in a game like this, everybody's going, everybody's working, so they're not, like, just casually strolling. They're actually getting stuff done. All right, so now we've got our quarry and our stonemason done. Wood cutting hut is done too, and then the sawmill's almost done. Explorer's hut is ready. Let's tell them to explore up here, if we can. Yeah, this demo's out now. 
And yeah, the aesthetics are very nice. It, it's like Foundation and Settlers. In fact, it's from the same exact people who made the Settlers as well. So, so just basically think of... Uh, yeah, just think of this as like an unofficial Settlers game. The boat is so cool, man. And you can see all the different classes of people, but these are all, like, uh, their jobs. So, like, Smithy, Forester. Wow, the boat could have hold... What? 500 people? That's a lot of people, dude. 500 people on a boat like that? This is the type of boat, like, in Sea of Thieves that it takes, like, four people to operate. The Galleon. Gotta play Sea of Thieves again, too. I enjoy that. Use the ship as spare parts. You know, honestly, I'm not sure if when we're done with all the materials on the boat, if, like, the boat leaves and then we can trade, like, it'll go back and then come back and trade or something, or maybe we could use it to go off and buy resources. I'm not sure what the whole story of this game will be. Like, are we exiles? Are we exploring and colonizing a new land for a reason? Like, I don't know. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll be playing more of the front tonight. Oh, wow, look at the line for the sawmill. Oh, that's so inefficient to just, like, stand like that. Eh, yeah, whatever. Anyway, uh, what are we building next? I want to wait for the explorers to keep exploring. They want us to build one more quarry... Yeah, if we're, okay, so if we're going to build more, we should probably branch out and find more. Everybody wants cut wood, it's the newest thing. We'll have to just wait for our territory to expand. And if we're going to build a forester, it might be a good spot to build a forest up here good spot out of the way. Adventurer's Gill. What's up, Yao? Okay, yeah, I, I want to build like a guard tower up here. And maybe one over there. We're also supposed to build three cottages, huh? Now let's start down here. There's also deer in there, too. Somewhere. What's up, Stony Cat? Hi, chat. Welcome, Raptoria. Good to see you.
Seems the lettering got smaller on YouTube. You mean the chat? Uh, maybe they made, yeah, maybe they made the font size smaller in the chat so you can read more messages. I'm not sure. This is the part I like about a game, though. Like, when you... This is really nice to see hear the chopping of the wood and the tapping away at the uh, stone quarries and stuff. The music's cool, but I'm only hearing, like, two songs. One that almost sounds like our god is an awesome god. This song seems to share some melody with that. If you listen closely, you might hear it. What the hell is that? Oh my god, is that a pig? I think I have pigs up there. <laughs> I wonder if we'll find ruins or something. That'd be kind of cool. Space Engineers. Yeah, you know, actually, a, a game called, um, I think it, oh, it's uh, Stormworks. Stormworks, the game where you get to build, like, aircraft and ship and helicopters and stuff. That game's getting a space DLC, and I really want to play that with Uthris and see how that works out. I also heard rumors that Trailblazers, that game where you can build, like, a bunch of vehicles and transport stuff around or whatever, I, th I think that might be getting a space DLC, too, but I'm not, I'm not sure. I think I may have just thought I saw something. I could be wrong. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised, though. Okay, we're building three homes there. Yeah, I don't want to build a lot of this stuff until we expand our territory a little bit. Okay, let's explore westerly. Someone needs to create a grumpy old men themed ice house city builder. Wow. That'd be interesting. Kind of cool. We're not getting a day-night cycle, but you can see the screen kind of getting a little darker when clouds pass over. You can also see the clouds kind of creeping around on the ground. I, I, I appreciate the small details like that. Okay, I think we're going to wait until more of these trees are cut down and then wait for the houses. What the hell does a stone mill do? Stone millers turn stone and limestone b blocks into gravel and cement to be used as construction material. Oh. Well, it says it turns stone and limestone blocks into gravel and cement, but it says it only utilizes limestone. So the stone mill cannot use stones. It has to use lim limestone, which is different. Like that. That description should be, uh, maybe that building name should be changed in the description too. It's calling it a stone crusher, <laughs> but it only processes limestone. It's technically true, but, you know, if, if the first thing you build is a stone mine, you think it's going to use those things. Now the forest is almost cut down. Look at that. Hey, and a big old forest is to our west. Good. Now, if we put down guard towers, I think, is that what expands our territory? Yeah, the guard towers will claim territory, so we have to build that first. But I can always delete this and then expand it. Rock and stone? Yeah. Later today, I want to play the new uh, Deep Rock Galactic game. They made, like, a solo top-down shooter. Looks cool, man. Rock and Stone is a damn, damn good game. 
or well, I, I guess in this case now franchise. It's one of those games, Hunt Showdown and uh, Deep Rock Galactic are two games that like so many people play yet nobody really. It's like everybody's quiet little secret or something. Like nobody's ashamed to play it, but it's just nobody talks about it. Kind of weird. So we gotta build guard towers to expand. We'll let those get built and then we'll build a road later. We still gotta build those three homes there. Rock and stone. Hopefully they have some of the same voice actors from that game. In the new one. I also like how this game tells you how many you have of something. So at the bottom there, if you look closely, it says zero and then plus two. So zero have been built, but we're making two. Kind of helpful for when your settlement gets big enough. And you're trying to remember if you built a sawmill or not. It looks like to build something, they come over and clear and level the land. Well, maybe they cut down any trees that are there. No, that's not true, because you have to... The area has to be cut down of trees first. Is this part of the Scary October games? It is, yep. This, this is a horror game, chat, because we're building a city that doesn't have plumbing. It doesn't have fiber optic internet, hell, let alone dial-up. No Netflix. No Raptor. You don't get you don't get to watch and subscribe to the channel. You don't get to hang out in the Discord. But there is a pretty ocean. And uh, I guess some of you could take a job as a quarry worker or uh, a woodcutter. Is there steak here? Well, pretty soon when we build a hunting uh, cabin, yeah, there's a deer right there. So pretty soon... He's like, I'm out of here. I'm moving. He's tired of my crap. I was cutting down his forest, so he's like, whatever. I'm, I'm gonna beat it. He's gonna go live in this forest. I do appreciate that this building game is a little slower. I, I'm, I'm really liking the slow building games. Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic. Hell, even the new City Skylines 2 is much, much, much slower. Much slower. Yeah, there's a new Tropico DLC out called Going Viral. It has something to do with, like, uh, pandemics and stuff and building hospitals and medical stuff. I didn't get into that one yet, but if they give me a key. Weird thing about that game, though, is I can't... Well, Tropico for me is weird. I have to like restart my PC and disable SLI and do <laughs> I have to do a bunch of stuff to get it to work like they They did an update like a year ago and They haven't like They just tell everybody to like oh you deal with it. I Like Tropico though. It's a good game 
Also a very uh, good multiplayer city builder, although I've rarely ever played multiplayer. Damn, chat's getting fancy with chicken and rice and béarnaise sauce. Wait, I don't like that. Béarnaise sauce? Someone's just trying to sneak in. Sneak in the word bear. Security. Oh, that's interesting. Natural products. One is a ration and, a, and water. I don't think a ration is a natural product. <laughs> and that seems like a refined product. Because like, it looks like it's wrapped up in a little package. Okay, so we got to build our guard towers to expand our territory. Rice aroni, yeah, that's the San Francisco treat. Ding ding. How the hell do you equate rice with San Francisco? Like, oh, we take rice and spot. That feels like something they do in the in the South, like Louisiana and stuff, and Creole recipes. I mean, that that's what I would. I'd rather have that. Like jambalaya. Mm, dirty rice. It's good stuff. What is everybody doing now? Like, it seems like construction has halted. I don't need to build a road to these buildings, do I? Because I didn't have to build a road to these when they started construction. Is everybody on break? There we go. Well, they're not carrying anything. They did flatten the land for the guardhouse, though. Requires six stone. We have 131. Reserved is 28, so that means... Six are going there. That's 12. These probably require some. Yeah. Costco food bar. That seems like that would be a great horror game, would be being trapped. Okay, that would be like along the lines of those back rooms games, right? But also there's that one horror game where like you operate some fast food restaurant like called Happy Burger or something like that. Yeah, Costco food court sounds like a perfect... Horror game, except you couldn't call it like Costco food. You just call it uh, Cost Incorporated Food Court or something. Do I like croissant? Uh, yeah, but typically whenever you get a croissant, they're just way too big. You gotta have a nice actual bakery croissant, not like the damn near one molecule away from plastic ones at the grocery store. Not good stuff. Oh good, now they're building. Alright, here we go. Finally can expand some territory. Yeah, I can remember playing the original Tropico too, yeah. And then there was the pirate one, which I think they should do like a remake of that one. Like, no need to really change that one too much, just bring in modern graphics and whatnot. Let it work on modern systems. I'd buy that. I do miss Tropico, like, I think it was like 3 and 4. Five that were really serious. Like Tropico Five kind of took a more somewhat of a realistic for Tropico tone to it. But I do like how Tropico's kind of like goofy. But also Tropico, every time we play one of those DLCs is always misleading as to how hard it's going to be. Like you get a new DLC and it's like mission one is like 
most of the city is built, you know, get the city's happiness up to, or entertainment up to like 99 or something, and they give you a bunch of stuff you can build, and, and then mission two is just brutally hard. Like, you start on literally the side of a volcano that's on fire, they give you a stick, and they're like, okay, build an international airport, go. And then it's like, dude, <laughs> that ramped up real quick. But, you know, the fact that they keep it sarcastic and lighthearted with Penultimo and El Presidente is great. And the voice actor for El Presidente is phenomenal. I love that guy. It makes me wish, though, the those Anno 1800 scenarios that they made were outstanding, and I don't think they made enough of them. They all felt like you were playing a different version of Tropico. Anno 1800 had, had those ones where, like, you, you go to that ladies' island and they're trying to construct, like, a hydroelectric dam... And then one you're playing as the guy trying to mine silver. And they all, like, take place in the New World. But it's like, man, give us some for Africa and uh, the Arctic and stuff. Those were outstanding, like, scenarios, man. Because it was, it was cool because it was like, it was like, I want to play Anno, but I don't want to play the usual, like, you know, colonize an island. And then so, it was just like you get one, maybe two or three islands. And then it's super ultra micromanaging of those three islands, which was cool as hell. It felt like you were playing a, a much different version of Tropico or Anno. But yeah. I, I don't want them to make a new Anno. I want them to just pump out one more big O expansion and a couple more uh, scenarios because I, I don't know how they're going to top Anno 1800. They set the bar so high with Anno 1800, I don't know how they're going to do it. I don't know how they're going to do it. Because the trouble with Anno is that they have to pick a whole different time period too. So... I think I have a fear that no matter what they do next, it's going to be one that a lot of people might look over because it's kind of like it. It might just not, it just might not be as good as Anno eighteen hundred because maybe they'll do some. They could go all the way back to the originals like seventeen oh one or fourteen oh four. They could go all the way back to those time periods, but I don't know. Is this an indie game? Well, uh, kind of, because it's not really being published by a big AAA studio, but it's based on the Settlers franchise, which has been around for quite some time. Any new RTS worth waiting for? Um, I mean, there are a few that are coming. Yeah, Tempest Rising is a, a good one. But there's not many that give that Command and Conquer vibe, no. Okay, so now our guard towers have finally let us expand. And I have a feeling we'll delete these buildings eventually. So now I think we'll just wait until we expand to the forest here. And... We gotta expand all the way up here to like this stone mine. Uh, what's your favorite game in this type of genre to start? Well, if you're just starting on city builders like this, I think Foundation is probably one of the most outstanding examples of a very... It's a good balance between like chill but not too casual. And then there's like kingdoms and castles, and then there's like the settlers and stuff. But I, I feel like Foundation is the perfect start for anybody who wants to eventually play something more like Anno or Banished, but want to start easy. Foundation's really cool with, uh, you know, you don't really build roads in that game. You kind of like give areas of permission. So like uh, in that game, you, you paint a forest and say, okay, you can cut this area down. And then you can draw, like, a little line through it that says, like, okay, nobody... Like, you can split it in half and be like, okay, nobody log here. And you can leave, like, a little strip of trees and build houses around it. It's very good. Foundation's outstanding. That's your gateway to games like <laughs> Farthest Frontier. But Farthest Frontier is good, too. You could throw that on Peaceful. I, I do like that developers are starting to make Peaceful modes so people who are interested in something can really first figure out, not get overwhelmed and figure out how it works, then up the challenge and then be like, oh man, this is great. 
you know. It lets you kind of train yourself at your own pace and should be enjoyable. You should be able to do things on your own watch, not uh, you know, not not feel like it's a like a job where you got to learn a certain thing by a certain date. It should be whenever you want to. <laughs> Good day, handsome. Well, hello. Hello. Man, we expanded that territory quickly. All right, we got to get all this cut down. Yeah, that's true. Like every game nowadays is also getting like a farming and fishing mini game in it, like no matter what. Like even the new <laughs> technically the new Star Wars game had farming and fishing in it. Like when you uh when you get to the cantina, there's like a, a farm on the roof of it, and then there's also like aquariums inside where you can go find fish and put them all inside the uh, inside the um, the bar. So yeah, every every game now is getting some element of farming and fishing. Be a fun thing to do in uh, like Zomboid. Play those survival games just to do fishing. Okay, so another thing we need to do too is uh, if we're going to expand our territory more, we have to make more of those, cl what are they called, claim stones or whatever, so, and I think that's what this place is making, yeah, border stones they're called. You think Star, Star Trek's going to get fishing and farming? <laughs> that would be cool, man, a Star, a Star Trek game where you actually get to colonize a planet, that would be cool as hell. I don't know how that would work, but... I had imagined it to be somewhat like Starfield, but more on the base building aspect, and then geared towards Star Trek. That would be outstanding. Yeah, I really could uh, see myself playing more Star Wars, Star Trek games, and Star Wars games that are not Jedi. Like Jedi are cool and all, but there's so much more to explore. Like imagine if there was an off-road Star Wars trucking game. That'd be great. Luke truck hauler. Oh, dude. The guy's doing some off-roading, shifting gears, and... I think we got half the forest capped here. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, me. Actually, I think it's better to just build the building first and then attach the road. Yeah, we gotta put a forger's hut here. So these little bushes, I thought those had berries or something on them, but they're just... They is what they is. Okay. That's fine. I think every game also needs a... Uh, just like what City Skylines 2 is getting, we need that thing that shows us the, like, the angle. Like, if you're, if you're going to build a road, I want to see if it's at, like, a 25, 10, 90-degree angle, you know, from the previous section built. All right, I'm going to... Okay. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh. Thank you for all the excellent content, Raptor. To say I'm extremely pleased to have found you would be an absolute understatement. Uh -huh. My free time would be nothing without Raptoria. Uh -huh. Heart, Bear, T-Rex, no. Big Love. 
No, no bear, but uh... <laughs> wow, thank you, dude. Uh, global with the big O hundo. Get some hashtag globals in the chat and some dino nugs for the big hundo. Thanks, dude. Yeah, this community is a pretty damn special place, man. It's the uh, never gonna have the biggest channel on YouTube, but we certainly do have the best place, man. Nice to have all you guys watching. It's nice to play along with uh, all of our other streaming friends, and it's cool to to just explore new games together. So yeah, thanks, man. And if you're enjoying this game chat, remember Pioneers of Pagonia is a, a free game right now on Steam, and Steam's got a ton of free games until like Sunday for the Steam Next event. Uh, RoboCop is an absolute banger. Get that new RoboCop game. It's free, free demo. Lasts about like two hours, at the most. Really good. Pioneers of Pagonia. There's a Deep Rock Galactic game for free, too. Uh, check the channel. And check the schedule down below in the description to see what I'm playing and what might pique your interest. Uh, for a lot of you who watch the channel all the time, too, we probably have, for the most part, pretty similar interests in games that we like. So if I like a game or if I'm going to check it out, it might interest you. And if not, you know, like, no biggie. Like, you'll know. But it's, it's cool to see, like, you know, 50 games narrow it down to like 20 that might interest you and then find 10 real bangers that like you want to get in the next year and then you add them to your wish list and then you know if and when you get around to buying it and it's on sale or something then boom next one another one another one there's there's too many games too guys the the biggest problem of this year is like we got cyberpunk 2.0 then a cyberpunk dlc then we got starfield then we got a new assassin's creed mirage and it's like for people like me who just play games all day just to cover them and like explore them, still not enough time to do that. So I, I couldn't imagine, um, you know, playing games for just like two to four hours of free time and then, um, you know, like <laughs> wanting to play everything. Just just do like two or three at a time and work your way through it for a year. But uh, biggest, my favorite games of this year so far though, Dredge and Dave the Diver, two like fishing, boating, exploring games that were just outstanding. They they just were great. They were great. Wow, and Global comes in with a 20 gifted membership bomb for the Chatty Chatters too. Damn. This guy's insane. Someone stop him. Nah, never mind. Leave him alone. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Enjoy all your gifted memberships, everybody. All right, hey, we got the three cottages done. I'm just waiting for this forest to get cut down because I want to build a big old city here. I hope our woodcutter's not, like, walking all the way over here. Wow. You saw this one and was wondering about it? You might play it over the weekend? Yeah, this uh, this might expire on Sunday. So definitely try to get the demo now. But yeah, this, this will be until the weekend. Yeah, if you guys want a gifted membership, exclamation point gift in the chat. And tap that link that pops up and it'll turn on you to receive membership gifting on YouTube. You have to, like, pre-accept it. You have to, like... You have to go into YouTube and opt in to be gifted memberships on any YouTube channel or live stream. And I think you have to be, I think it might prioritize who's the most active in chat. So just like subscribe, which is free. Put a one in the chat for free. Hit the like button for free. And, you know, it's all part of my evil plan to hang out and play games. Pure evil. Okay. Uh, Forrester. Hmm. I think I'm going to build my forest rebuilding up here. Nope, oh, that's a vegetable farm. Maybe it's here. There it is, Forester. So this guy will plant trees. And I'm going to try to put them far up in the hills. Terminator Dark Fate, yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, that's... That's true, that is a new RTS game. It, it doesn't have base buildings so much, but there are a few minor things you can do, but... Have I played My Supermarket? Uh, nope. But I do love those business management games. Another good one from this year was uh, Big Ambitions. Good babies.
Cool. build another woodcutter to get these trees out of the way faster. I want to clear that area out and build a town down by the by the the river. Next to our van. Demo for all quiet in the trenches looks good, yeah. That one's on my list too. I think it's World War One real time strategy management. I want to do another stream where we just explore Steam games, but uh, I feel like I would never play them. I would just get excited, add one to the wish list, or download it, and then go on to the next one. It's hard not to, though. There looks to be so many good absolute bangers coming out for uh, city builders and survival games. No, you can't speed up time in this game. I haven't. There, I don't think there's an option for it. I tried to look for it when I played it before. At least I don't think so. Still waiting on Manor Lords, I know, but you know, it's uh, well well worth the wait. Oh, you checked on the Steam community page, there's no speed control? Yeah, it could just be for the demo. I guess that's fine, because they want people to take their time and explore and report bugs. And honestly, the, the demo might not be that long. But what we'll do is if, uh, if we hit our building limit or whatever, and it's like, thanks for playing, we'll just go to a different map, and if there's time, we'll go play some other city builder we haven't played yet. What's up, Fly Eagles Fly? Welcome. Yeah, this one's slow pace for sure. I feel that way about City Skylines 2 as well. City Skylines 2 is much slower. Even when you're on speed 3 or 3 times speed in City Skylines 2, it almost feels like uh, normal speed or like double speed in City Skylines. So I'm sure some people will be able to make like a massive city before the first winter. Got a lot of logs going. Wait, what? Oh, I see. We have 329 homes. Wait. No, a cottage can only hold 10, so there must be pe people must be able to sleep on the boat or something. Act of War? Yeah, those games are old. Older RTSs, for sure. Oh, there we go. The logging camp's going up. Oh, 
Almost done. Well, there we go. Okay, cool. So yeah, the goal is to clear that out so we can build some more support buildings there. And they want us to build a wood workshop. That building's cool. Alright, so now they're going to plant a ton of trees up there. And we can choose which trees, too. Soft and hardwood. Nice. I do like that. How long until we can start streaming City Skylines 2? Soon. About, I'd say within a week. We're all excited. Oh, there we go. So there goes all the tree planting. Good. Cool. Wood workshop. How do we get that? <sighs> there she be. Oh, look at that perfect fit. Perfect fit. Beautiful. Yeah, this game's kind of like a foundation in its appearance, yep. Decorations, yeah, that'd be good. This game could definitely use the option to place a tree down or some benches or barrels. Deer just walking down the street. Yeah, people are getting moving and shaking with the construction. All right, so I'm going to use that area to get a constant flow of logs. Yeah, the black and white game series were great. Uh, Fata Diem is a new game. I think that has a demo on Steam for the Steam Next event. Fata Diem is like black and white. That was a great one. Black and white 2 as well. Of course, it was a good game and didn't really have many expansions or microtransactions so EA had to quickly abandon it. Dude, it only made us a lot of money. Abort it. Shut it down. It didn't make all the money. We need to shut it down. People love it.
<sighs> yeah, uh, the settlers. Um, this is from the same guy who made the settlers, so it's going to look a lot the same. I think the idea is to kind of make the gameplay the same, but to perhaps create a new franchise to uh, maybe change some of the major mechanics somehow. But the basics are here. Settle a land and then expand your territory. Fata Diem, it's like F-A-T-A. -A. Go to Steam and type in F-A-T-A. -A -A. Or just sort by City Builder. I think it's a free demo for the next event. I think if you go to the City Builder section, it should be a free demo. Love from India? Well, thanks for watching. So we could definitely do some more stone mining. Oh, that's all coal. Copper up there too. Ah, there's still a lot of stone left. Uh, build a military academy next. Mm, we have to put in work orders for things like hunting bows, shields, wooden rods, spears, torches, and cog wheels. Hmm. Should make a road to go up here. We're going to need that stuff soon. Forgers gathered a ton of stuff. Whoo, good job. Lots of mushrooms. I'm going to clear this all out. Move the uh, industry somewhere else. No badgers or snakes, but there are mushrooms. Mushrooms? Yeah. Makes sense. You know, I haven't seen a map that's got a river in it either. I haven't seen, like, little lakes or inland rivers. So it does seem like we're purely on the shore. Shore does. What is this? Oh, silver coins. Ooh.
All right, almost done clearing this out. You wish Farm Sim had a generate map function like Farthest Frontier. That'd be great. And then you could, like, uh, build a farm anywhere. Yeah. Yep, this is the demo. I'm not sure when this one has a release date. Soon, TM. Soon. Nice, the trees are coming along nicely. There's our limestone. Do I recommend the front? I want to play it some more before I really understand what the hell that game is. I, I honestly don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I, I want to play it more, and I had fun with it. But I don't know where the game is going yet. I, I don't know. I really don't. We were able to like do a bunch of like cutting down trees and gathering stone and iron. And we were able to build a base, but... Uh, you know, that's every survival game, so I, I have yet to play a lot more of that to really get a feel for it. So I'm reserving judgment for another date. Well, we made the joke yesterday that the front seems like everything the game. Like they're trying to be Rust and Valheim. They're trying to be Squad and like V Rising. Colt played it a lot more last night. Colt hosted a dedicated server. And so we'll jump in today and see how much progress he made and anybody else he played with over overnight. We'll see. Okay, we, oh, we can build a tavern next. You love to see that today? Yeah, we're going to we're going to get into that one. Action will ensue. trees out of the way and then we can build oh wait actually now is a good opportunity to test and see if I can No. I was going to see if I could heart super chats. YouTube, in typical fashion, like sends me a message to be like, dude, if someone sends a super chat, you can heart it now. So I tried to go back and heart Global's super chat. No, dude, can't do it. Can't do it, dude. You can do it. Can't do it, dude. But Frankenstein 144 is a raptor egg now, so welcome aboard, dude. Green eyes in the chat. Show him some love. Let's go. Another one has joined Raptoria. New member. Welcome. Another one. Thank you. Welcome, dude.
Oh, you love Settlers as a kid? Yeah, I mean, this is a free demo, so, like, if you're like, oh, man, this game seems fun, just go ahead and download. Give it a shot for an hour, and if you're like, eh, you know, then just add it to your wish list and maybe get it later. This probably will release into early access, so, you know, it's got a ways to go, but... You know. It seems pretty cool. It's a little slow, but I think that's the charm, too, is that, you know, it takes a long time to expand a colony. And to cut down all these trees, man. Alright, what else should we build? Um, hunting lodge? Alright, we'll build a hunting lodge now, too. Yeah, we can do vegetable farming soon, but we'll uh, we'll wait until we get the task. What's up, Woody? And Breno with the 23 months as a Raptor Ultimate. Oh, one more. One more to go, dude. And then the big two years. The big double. Right around the corner. Bum, ba da bum. Not long to go. Man. I want them to cut that forest down. Oh yeah, that's true. Uh, that game has a little bit to do with the uh, Sons of the Forest too. For the, the front. No guild hall available, no staff present. Hmm. Let's build a guild hall. New member, welcome! All right, Guild Hall is going in. A tavern, yeah. Got to move those trees. Okay, so that's going to be our hunting lodge. We've got a forger already. Is there a way to turn off a building? Yeah, let's turn that off for now. Ghosts can't lie, they're transparent. Oh boy. 
I should read some more Halloween puns, but I don't know. Could be dangerous. Game looks amazing. It's pretty cool. It's certainly very chill. Like, there's no speed settings, so it's not like we can speed through it. We all just gotta take a deep breath and go, ah. How about a city-based builder with time travel missions? The actions you take in the past will affect when you get back. Oh, that sounds like Chrono Trigger. Oh, that's cool. Demolishing is immediate. Alright, so we're building the tavern and four tables. I'm gonna build a provisioner next, too. Uh, now that now the town's moving and shaking, now we're gonna get some actual services for the people. Brewski's bruh. Hey, you're welcome, Anthony. Thanks for being a part of our streams. nice to have the chatty chatters chat in the chat about the future of gaming spoiler the future is now chrono trigger and sea of stars oh, i was talking about with chrono trigger how you Somebody mentioned a time-traveling city builder would be interesting, and I thought it would work like how Chrono Trigger works, where, you know, you go back and forth through time and see the town change. That would probably have to look like something like Stardew Valley. But Sea of Stars was great, too. That game is wonderful, and uh, it kind of got buried by a ton of stuff, like Starfield and other things, but really... It, uh, there's so many big games coming out all the time, it's hard to know when to release one. Are you part of the stream? You sure are. Construction. But yeah, Chad, I guess now we can officially say for City Skylines 2, I just jumped in the official Discord. The 19th of October, 
YouTube will be uh, flooded with fecal matter powered dams and I built the worst city and this happened 100 day server for the next uh, four and a half years and then we can actually get to some meaningful content but that'll be cool looking forward to that so we'll be playing city skylines on the 19th I'm the worst mayor please watch me oh my god you are creative and insightful. I will watch more of this. Guys, I built a railroad track through the city and it was bad. Oh my god, that was bad. <laughs> Lol. Content. The 19th is reserved for trucks. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we got Euro Truck. We've got uh, Alaskan Road Trucker. We got um, Snow Runner. Roads. Roads. It's going to be ro Road Week. You get to build roads and city skylines. You get to drive on them and all the other games. Roads. It's roads. All right, so now I've built like f five logging camps, hoping to just cut down a couple of remaining trees. And yay, we built the guild hall. I need to build a storage. That's what we need. Yeah, there's no way to speed up time in the demo. Maybe the full version, but I think maybe that's either by design or they haven't finished it yet. I, th I think it's intended that it'll be there, but just not currently. Whoa, look at the line. What the heck? Okay, so now we're building a lot of storage too, so we won't get output full anymore. What are we gonna do tomorrow? Wait, is tomorrow? Hold on. Oh, right. 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 Comcast. What time are they coming to my house? Well, so I want to. Okay, so if you if you didn't know, I got an email at the start of the week from uh, my internet provider, basically saying, "Hey, man, we got to upgrade like everything in the neighborhood." So they're coming into everybody's houses through the. They've been doing it through the the week, probably through the month. Uh, but basically, they're upgrading everybody's like 
line from the... I think they've already up... Like, last year they upgraded the line from the... Like, through the neighborhood. So, probably over the last year they've been, like, upgrading the line from the main line that they upgraded to everybody's houses. So, now it's my turn. So, they've got to, like, I don't know, go out to the... They gotta go out to the connection to the street and then go to a bunch of people's houses and like rewire. I don't think it's fiber optic because that would be efficient and good. And Comcast wouldn't do either of those things. So. They basically gotta like, you know, SWAT team battering ram your front door at a random time between 9 and 5. And then, you know, tell you it'll take probably 30 minutes, but it'll probably only take about 3. <laughs> like, they're. The people who come in actually are really good and uh, really nice. So, if I schedule some streams tomorrow, you know, I could be five minutes into the stream and then the guy could show up. So, and then I'll have to like go offline for 15 minutes. So, rather than do that, I'm not I'm not going to schedule any streams tomorrow yet. I don't know what I'm going to do. Hope that they come in early. And then I'm also getting, like, uh, something else repaired, too. So tomorrow's going to be a little busy day. So I'm, I'm going to try to stream. I'll definitely stream in the PM. Because they'll be done before nighttime. So we'll see. You guys might, you might have to watch a video of mine. I hate to say it. Or... I'll give chat some homework. Chat, chat, you're gonna you're gonna have to go play one of these games yourself. You'll have to download a free game on the Steam Next event and try it yourself. Trust me, that pains me to say that. <laughs> Please wear pants when they come into the house. That's only in Humanity Z. The zombies keep ripping my damn pants off in Humanity Z every time. All right, cool. We cleared out the forest. Awesome. That took a long time. So now is there a way I can shut this down? I want to shut down these logging camps and take the supplies that are from them and put them into storage. I just want to build a nice neighborhood. That's all. marketplace that we can put in there too they want us to build a well where the hell's a well Oh, the forester has to plant? Oh. The forester has to plant and then water trees? What? Workers collect water from watering plants and baking. Yeah, okay. So that's going to have to go to the farm and any sort of anything that's planting. Okay.
And then we'll leave a room, some room for a market somewhere. You're up to 29 of 42 of the Farthest Frontier series, so you have a video or two to watch. Oh, good. Wow, Farthest Frontier, outstanding. I want to start playing it again. I, I want to do a restart now on all the new updates, but uh, I, there's just too many games. Damn it. There's too many, there's too many good games I want to play, so I can't play them all. It's like when you're at a really good buffet, and it's like you could barely fit anything on your plate, and you're starting to get full, and it's just like, no. No. Damn you, food. Why do you have to be so good? Oh, there goes the neighborhood. Building. Real quickly. There it goes. Like same day construction. There it goes. It's popping off. Trees are growing back again. Uh, let's go for some more seating here. We'll do it like that. Much better. No pants? Well, look, if you want to see my no pants, you can type exclamation point shorts and watch those. I got to drop some more of those uh, shorts too, but I've been so crazy busy with the uh, videos. I think that's what I'm going to do tomorrow too, is that if I don't stream chat, I'm going to uh, just record a bunch of demos to then put out next week when just before City Skylines 2 drops so I can make a bunch of... Uh, Videos, but I, I really just want to stream that game. Videos are like... I don't know. I don't want to take... The nice thing about streaming games is that I don't have to do all the editing so we can do more time playing. You know, because like if you record a 30 minute... Well, if you make a 30 minute video, that could be like an hour and a half of gameplay. But then you lose so much of the actual game. Yeah, I try every once in a while to put out like a top, you know, like these city builders are amazing. But really it's just to try to like also get people to go in the comments section and be like, oh yeah, play this game too. Like any of them that I missed or that I might not know of. It's part of the evil plan. Where I try to learn too. Editing takes so long. 
Yeah, and I haven't come up with a good system yet on, like, after finishing a video to then send it to someone and have them edit it and then send, you know, do all that stuff yet. And it, that just feels too mechanical and disconnected from the... Con I mean, I feel like, you know, me and a game should speak for ourselves. Like, if you like me and the game that I'm playing, you watch. If not, I don't need to, like, wrap things in, in layers of bacon in order to make it tasty. And that bacon consists of like this, you know. Whoa, whoa city in the 100-day whoop. You know, it's like, bro, just just play the game, dude. Just play the game. Just play. Have fun. Just play. Provisioner. We got to make a provisioner next. Oh, I think that's... No. Well, they want us to put down a military academy, too. Ah, eh, maybe something up there. Oh, great. There's a lot of lime and stone up there. Yeah, of course, we, we, yeah, we still get a lot of stone there. There's our provisioner. Oh, that's cool. You can also give them work orders. Oh, can I? Oh, you can't really change where they work. Okay. Well, kind of. Do I get much traffic on the shorts? I mean, you know, it, everything now is just reliant on YouTube being your pill pusher. You can't really... You know, there used to be a time where there would be an agreement between the viewer and the YouTuber, and YouTube was just kind of the middleman or, like, off to the side. But now YouTube wants to curate everything through recommended and whatnot. I feel like what YouTube will do in the future is they'll try to remove uh, view counts and things from videos and just get you to try to watch what they want you to watch. So rather than giving you actual information, it'll just be thumbnail, title, you click based on all your previous recommendations and whatnot. They don't want you thinking. They want you watching ads and piping down. And if you do comment, it'll be like, this content is good. And also, the product in which was advertised before that video, I will also purchase as a consumer and end user. That's what they want. That's why they remove dislikes. They don't want you disliking... A Nintendo game ad or a bad movie ad. No, 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 no. Consume and get excited about next consumption. Don't, no think. Think cost profit. You, you do. No think. Only do. All right, let's put down a provisioner. Ah, oh, damn it. I don't think we can move these rocks out of the way. You've been subscribed since Metal War Assault Squad 2? Awesome. That's good, man. I like that game, but at this point I'd rather play more uh, Cult Arms. That's a great game. But the Metal War community is, uh, is playing uh, Cult Arms now, too, so... And hopefully we... Uh, Meta War 2 was delayed. The, um, I think the publisher, and maybe even the developer of that, I think is from the Czech Republic. And they were going to release it this autumn, but I think they're going to do it next spring. There are so many game makers in, like, 
the Czech Republic makes like three of the games that we play here. I think Euro Truck is made from a Czech developer as well. And then the people who make uh, Farming Simmer from Switzerland. There's a ton from Poland, and then the people who make Workers and Resources Soviet Republic are from Slovakia. So that area's got like three, well, I mean, there's a few places where you, you would think they would all be either in Germany for the simulators, or, you know, it's like, it's like America, if not America, then it's gotta be Canada, aka Ubisoft, if not, then... There's got to be like a whole flowchart to it, but it'll surprise you how many cool sim and builder games come from like... Like Poland was popping off for a while, but the Czech Republic... I, I gotta get over there. I gotta go see some game studios. In Czech Republic, Poland, and like Slovakia. And uh, swing by Switzerland too. You know. All via train. Oh, chat. It'd be awesome. I go to all these places via train. dream would come true. Oh, they say to put this near a tavern. Yeah, Sweden makes a lot of stuff too, yep. Yeah. I've been to game studios before, like in the Netherlands and whatnot. It's really cool. You go in there and it's just everything's themed perfectly for the game they're trying to make. And it's cool to see what they've got planned for the future. If they can share. I've been to like Bandai Namco, the same folks who um, published Elden Ring and Armored Core and Ace Combat. I saw Elden Ring being made before I even know what the hell that was. I was like, what is this game? Oh, that's a FromSoft title? We can't really say much at this moment. I couldn't take pictures or anything. I was like, oh, who the hell is this dude with the... Like, they had a big statue in the back of a dude with a sword. Turned out to be one of the bosses or something from Elden Ring. I had no idea. I had no idea what the hell that was. I was like, I don't know. I don't think people are going to like this game. But I hope they do. And they did. Yeah, Mashinki. Wait, I thought Mashinki was uh, Polish. I thought that developer was Polish. Maybe it's being published by a Czech publisher, but I, I, I'm pretty sure isn't... I think the guy's name is Jan... something. And I thought he was from Poland. I could be wrong, I don't know. But that's getting airplanes soon. I'm excited for Mashinki. Oh, he is from the Czech Republic? No way! Wow. Yeah, Zeleny is his name. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Mashinki. Wow. Damn. All right, so everybody in the Czech Republic is like, they do their full-time real job and then their part-time game. Well, they have two jobs. You know, you go to your job at the supermarket or you're a hairdresser or you uh, work at the airport or something like that, drive a taxi, and then at night you, you just go home and make your, your game. Everybody in the Czech Republic's assigned a game they have to make. It's part of the part of how it works. Once you hit 18, you gotta, you gotta pick a career and a game that you're gonna make. How it works. Czech Republic's working. They're moving and shaking. <laughs> yeah, and workers and resources are from Slovakia. Exactly. Yep. And they're being published by Hooded Horse, which is the same publisher of uh, Manor Lords and a few other builder games, too. I like I like that region. I, I feel like the some of the most interesting and in my opinion, best games that are just fun for me are coming from Hooded Horse and anybody around, like, Eastern Europe. You know, Poland and Slovakia and Czech Republic. That's like the... That's the new... That's the new Silicon Valley. Potato Valley. Bro. Dude, think about it. Poland, Czech Republic. They got potatoes, beer, and video games. I gotta get over there. I might move, actually. I gotta get over there. I'm gonna go see that bridge that was made of eggs. <laughs> Some of you know what I'm talking about. 
If you know, you know. Bum, bum, bum. What is this? Plant plant meal ingredients. Plant meal. Raspberries. Is that something we can gather? Anyway, all right, now I think it's time we build a military academy. I thought we were going to have time to build a lot of other uh, things, but... Oh, well, the game speed's set to slow. Locked in. There we go. Bum, bum, bum. Um, hmm. Oh, that oh, that's that's an interesting turn. We'll go with that. Would it be possible to stream Forgotten But I'm Broken again? Man, uh, maybe. I don't know. It's getting less possible to cover anything right now because I'm bogged down with the Steam Next event and then City Skylines around the corner. November, maybe? There's a few of those interesting real-time and turn-based World War II strategy games that... Man, I could make a top ten out of that. There's like some really, there's some very good like, t like very interesting World War II games that are coming out that are not, that they're more management and turn-based games like Headquarters World War II and Forgotten But I'm Broken and uh, what is that one called? Um, something 44, where you play as like the French Resistance getting ready for D-Day. I I really am happy we're getting away from, or rather that there's more options around warfare that's not front lines trooper or hero you know and a good example of that is um everybody being excited for like uh the foxhole update where in foxhole i keep saying it or even in like hell let loose technically you could um you could basically win a war without being on the front line and especially in foxhole you know you could just uh Build a, help build a factory and then a railroad connecting to it and then drive some trucks around. Never fire your rifle once in a whole war and, like, make a difference. But yet, do all the things that are not, you know, pertaining to, like, an FPS or a top-down shooter or whatever. And even if in a lot of those World War II games, they're starting to just explore more than just, like, uh, the war ended on June 7th, 1944. And it's like, no, dude. No, it did not. There was so many other, so many game devs just kind of like wrap it up after D-Day and then it's like, no, dude, there was so much more to explore. Resistance forces and I guess uh, Hearts of Iron does a good job of showcasing that. Right, let's get rid of this building. I do notice when we delete a building, all the resources that were in it just plop out near the side of it, so that's good. Finally, now I got my little forestry area. Yeah, D-Day, and then it was over. It was wrapped up the next day. Like, what? There were so many things going on in so many places. But that's why it's cool to play, like, uh, Call to Arms and stuff, because you get to see all the other... Like, Finland, for example. Bro, when's Finland going to get a Winter War, Continuation War, Lapland War first person shooter that would be cool but it'd have to be made by an indie dev and it'd probably have to be made in Finland because who better to understand that conflict than the Finns but I want it made in the style of my summer car <laughs> oh that game is so good yeah squad's good yeah I like squad chat there's just too many good games really 
I play the games that I'm interested in, so obviously you know any video you watch on this channel is technically a biased video because like it's like I found it to be interesting, so I wanted to make a video on it. Yeah, there's Winter War stuff for uh, Call to Arms, but you know, the first time I heard about the uh, Finland, like the war in Finland, the Winter War and all that stuff, was a game called Blitzkrieg. They, they had some sort of a DL. There was, um, it was either an expansion pack or somebody made a mod. And I was like, oh, damn, Finland, Finland had a war? So many things you've learned through gaming. Yeah, Hearts of Iron 4, we played that before on the channel. Okay, let's make... Alright, we're building our military academy. we got to build stone mine, or mason and quarry. Oh, vegetable farm. Alright. I think we'll build a farm down here. But anyway, let me, let me put out an APB. Anybody who knows anybody from the Czech Republic... Uh, Poland, Slovakia, Switzerland, any any country that's working on a really cool indie game. If you got a studio, let me know, and I'll try I'll try to come out maybe next year for like Gamescom or something like that, and then not do Gamescom, but then just go to the indie studios because there's way more interesting places to visit than uh, just a generic. Uh, I mean, it's, it's important and good Gamescom, but. This is part of my evil plan to travel and and take a train. Pure evil, chat. Pure evil. That's right. I've said it. I might try to attempt to leave the house. All right. Outside is where the bad things are, I know. What the hell is this? Oh, it's coal mine. Yeah. Well, I want to build my farm over here. Uh, place near a farm, allow farmers to plant and harvest. Does not need... A road connection. Good. One of the most annoying things with city skylines was when, like, you'd try to build the Statue of Liberty out on an island and it'd be like, oh, dude, it doesn't have power. It's like, oh, dude, you try are you trying to build underwater lines? Can't do it. Like mods, yeah, of course, but it's like, bro, why is that not part of the base game of City Skylines 1 to build underground power lines? Can't do it, dude. Technology doesn't exist. You should buy our 17 other DLCs, though. Oh, well. They did a good job of that game, though, of adding tons of roads. Roads? Roads. How many farms can I put near the farm? I'll start with those. Okay, what's next? A toolsmith and market stalls? Oh, we gotta build six market stalls? What the? Well, I wish I could make a curved road, but. Seems a little like City Skylines when they put down the squares for you. Showing wh you where you can build stuff. Pretty 
Perfect. It's exactly how I thought it would look. Excellent. All right, vegetable farm underway. Quarry and masons again. Can the quarry dig out limestone? Yeah. What's up, Johan? How you doing, dude? You want a playlist of music like this? You know, I uh, the new City Skyline soundtrack's pretty legit. We still don't have the final version of that game just yet. I'm, I'm assuming it'll come on the 19th when we start streaming it. That will show, like, the, the final release version. But, of course, that's not going to be the final version of the game. Yeah, SimCity has always had a better soundtrack than City Skylines, for sure. Even when they've added all that other stuff. But City Skylines, I think, was kind of going for more of a... Hey, we're going to make some generic music, then we're going to make some themed music. As where SimCity always just tried to make, like, SimCity music. But that's why I like it. Could make another stone mason. Although that other one's for limestone, but whatever. Oh, wait. They've only made two. Oh, okay. Yeah, we could definitely use another one then. Denmark alert. And then the toolsmith. Wait a minute, if we're going to build a toolsmith, shouldn't we be mining iron? Eh, I guess we could make stone tools. So... <laughs> Can you build a Yeo Wendy's? Look, chat, one thing I've been trying to do is uh, find a time where we can play Planet, uh, sorry, Parkitect again with Uthris and get him to build some gorgeous stuff with us. I, I loved, I love playing that with Jerry and Indrid and Brad for all of our friends. It's so cool how building games can bring out the best creative, like, style. Like, if you play a war game with somebody, you just learn who the better shooter is or who's, like, really good with a particular rifle, but... In a builder game, you find out who's good at building food courts, roads, designing custom builds. There's so much you can learn. And uh, multiplayer for City Skylines 2 confirmed. It's not confirmed, but I'm confirming it. Based on yesterday's live stream and what they said... On, on confirmation confirmed. It's not, but I'm just saying it is. Based on how they said things. Okay, market stalls are going in. Vegetable farm. Damn, I thought we were going to go to all the other maps. This demo's good. I would say for this demo, because there's no speed up function or whatever, you could, if you want to like 100% the demo, I'd say just kind of build a somewhat functioning city on each of the maps. And know that you can save them too. Hopefully they kind of keep this demo up. Some of the demos from the Steam Next event might be up past the event, and I think this one definitely should. Bum, bum, bada, bum, 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 bum. Build a Max Burger. Mac Crispy Fries. Yeah, Max has good burgers, man. It's a Swedish uh, fast food place. Max is good. And a Japanese burger place that's kind of close is called Lotteria. Mm. 
Good burgers. Ooh, ooh. Man, a lot of construction going on. The Enshrouded demo is le legit. Yeah, I enjoyed that. We had a lot of technical issues with that game later on, but... Um, the, the thing about that game is that it, it's like Valheim, and imagine if Valheim had a demo where, like, you could only build in, like, a certain radius around the starting area. It's a... It was kind of a... The building mechanics and the game itself are cool, but the demo was frustrating because it was just like... You could see the potential there, and it was just like, no, can't do it, dude. You can't. You're not allowed. And it's like, all right, fine. We'll play again on the full release. That wasn't that bad. Oh, we're growing pumpkins and cabbage. All right. Did it do the job of making you want the full release, though? Yeah, I kind of already did want it because the the great thing about the Goof Troop now, Uthris and everyone else we build with, is that uh, I, it's really fun to showcase a game and then see what all my friends can and will do in that game and what they think about it. You know, I feel like there should be a click and drag system for the farming where you can just click and drag like because I don't know why you would want spaces between your farm plots. It, there should be just a way to, like, click and drag. Yeah, right. It's not about the journey. It's the friends you make along the way. Like, we're going to keep playing the front. I think the front is weird, and I have no idea what that game is trying to be. But the interactions that we've had as friends just make me want to play it more. You know, that's kind of a... That's why I think a lot of people like multiplayer is that it, it enhances a game, just like how... Having dinner, like a dinner party with a group of friends, that's much different than, you know, you, you make you make the meal that you like, and it's good, but if you get to share with friends, like a big old thing of spaghetti, and you get to have a bunch of friends over, it's just, it's just better. For some reason, you use the same ingredients, do nothing different, make it the same, get all the pla same stuff from the same place, just better. When you get to share with a friend. Now, maybe that's why pizza's so good, I don't know. Yeah, the intro yeah, enshrouded was it was a little rough, but I see the uh, I, I see the idea. I'm looking forward to playing more. Ah, oh, we got this big old mountain down here. That's right. So there's stone and iron ore down here. So we can get more stone, iron ore, copper. I think yeah, everything comes from this. We'll call it Mount Plentiful. Yeah, the Manor Lords demo was incredible, and then we haven't gotten anything since then. But at least the demo proved to everybody like, that, like, this this guy knows what's up, and this game's going to be big. Because there were a few people who were saying, dude, this game's never going to come out, we're never going to see anything from it, and I was like, nah, there's something different about Manor Lords, man. And then when that demo dropped, it was just like, I, I don't think we ever had more people watching a stream and asking questions and like being so super excited like you could just tell even if somebody just typed lowercase high it was like uppercase yo Cade welcome back as a bear cub dude Good to see you as a member again. Yeah, oh, and of course we got Fritz and Tavern Banger out of it, so, you know. Train construction unit. Train construction units? Oh, we're, we're training pe- Oh, the guild, guild halls training people in, like, digging and construction? Oh, yeah, okay. And that's what the tool maker's for. Okay. I see. Build a coal hut and a copper hut. Can we build a pizza hut? I want a game, chat, where you're managing a 1989 pizza hut. 
That's what I want. I want it to look like my summer car. I want it to be... No. You're managing a 1991... You're managing the Pizza Hut that Mikhail Gorbachev visited in 1991 in the Soviet Union, where the commercial was filmed. That's what you're doing. Wow, that is that is, that is is absolutely particular as hell. I want somebody to make an itch.io... Okay. I'm starting my own itch.io contest, and the winner, win, winner will win respect. I want... 27 different themes. I want an open world survival racing game of Mikhail Gorbachev visiting the 1991 Pizza Hut. And then also, um, you know, like survival horror and then, you know, like base building, crafting, and then a card game. <laughs> I, I want a, I want a, and an auto battler. I want a pizza, a Pizza Hut auto battler. That's what I want. Yeah. A 1989 blockbuster will be the sequel. Yeah. All right, anyway, uh, let's build the copper hut and whatnot. Oh, are they doing what they need to finally? Do we have anybody working here? No water available for planting. Oh. All right, let's develop this side of town now. And we'll build that there. Let's build our copper hut. Is there that was a little bit of copper. That's alright, we'll build. Get that on Kickstarter. Yeah, I'm gonna need uh seventy million dollars um to develop that game. I I imagine it playing something like My Summer Car or that one open world survival game uh, where you play as the kid in um, the coin game. Yeah. But yeah, that's what I, that's what I want to I want to see people make. Bum, ba -da -da -bum. Oh yeah, we're supposed to build another well anyway. Population 400. Supposed to build a construction camp. And they want us to build another guard tower. We'll build it up here. That's the one. Copper hut, coal hut, construction, camp, guard tower, all under construction, well under construction. Good. Well, well, well. All's well and good. Well, would you look at that. How many new members so far? 22 people because of uh, gift bombs from chat and people clicking and tap and join. So, yeah, thanks, folks, for the support. It was, uh, the coolest thing about members is that uh, if we get our numbers up high enough, YouTube will unlock more emote slots for us, and it's just 
It's exciting to pop in a new emote. We got some new themed emotes for Halloween, so enjoy the uh, Vamp Bear and Jason Bear He's and whatever else. You can torture me live. Harassing me about all my previous bear deaths and future bear deaths. You never know. We might go, may go play Icarus again. We won't. But we might. But we won't. We will not play Icarus ever again. Global with a five bomb for chat. There you go. Exclamation point gift. Become a member today. Thanks. Thanks to all the people with the crazy amount of gift bombs. This October has been an insane month. Chat's handing out all the, the tricks and the treats early. No tricks. Only treats from chat. Thanks, guys. been very nice yeah. maybe I'll build a road here roads I want a mod for city skylines that every time you put down a road it just plays the road sound effect like roads. you know that'll be the sound effect You're renaming this month Raptober. Yeah, I gotta play some more scary games too, Chad. I'm gonna I'm gonna put mandatory at least. We gotta play like two more Goof Troop horror games that we can all try to play together. And then uh, I gotta get scared by one. We gotta play like one creepy scary game. I mean more. We've already played a few, but. The Steam Next event and uh, City Skylines 2 coming out have kind of like taken up a lot of the time. <laughs> a bear with cucumbers in its eyes. Did you guys see Dave the Diver yesterday when we played that and they had the cucumber event? I lost it. Somebody please clip that and send it to Lumberjack. Uh, mortuary Assistant. I don't know about that one. That one's a little too... That, I, that makes me uncomfortable, that game. But maybe, chat, just maybe, I'll play Demonologist with the boys or uh, Phasmophobia. No promises. But first, we got to find some people who know how to play. So we'll probably get, like, I don't know, Jerry to join us or something. we got to find somebody. Um... Yeah, Dave the Diver is great. We played that game for three hours yesterday. We did a lot and also nothing at the same time. It's kind of like this game in terms of a city builder. Like, I feel like we haven't done much in this game so far, but yet we have. Like, we got pretty much everything going. Like, a farm, we're mining, we're logging, we've got a forester up. You know, we got, like, a military camp. Like, we've done nothing and everything at the same time. Maybe that's the allure of, like, city builders. Oh. It's probably like Civilization, where it's like just one more turn. Always feel that way in a Civ game. You'd pay money to see me have a malfunction? Well, what we could do is... Uh, a smart idea would be to attach a bunch of uh, loud, scary sound effects to Super Chats and Member Points and stuff, and you guys try to uh, scare me that way. Enshrouded, yep. Videos on the channel. We played Enshrouded for... Quite a quite a bit. I like the uh, the building options in the game is the most appealing part of that game. It the uh, exploring and the like the combat kind of remind me of Grounded or something. Yeah, and Shrouded was cool to play. Wait, where's our other stone mason? Oh, are we supposed to build a third? Oh, wow. And another sawmill. You want me to build 30 farmland? And build one crop. Oh, a, cr <clears throat> a crop farm. Oh yeah. Well, we'll build a crop farm here.
Luckily for the farmland, they don't have to do anything with that. It's just kind of there. Uh, yeah, and Shrouded will be good. We I don't know if there was a boss or anything in that game, but... Yeah. You could probably win a game concept with your experience. Yeah, I mean, at this point, it's hard to make a game without being inspired by other games. So, yeah, I would I would definitely make a city builder that felt like all of my favorites. It'd be like Anno and Farthest Frontier. Somehow. Build the Iron Hut. And we got to increase population. Another goal. Another one. Yeah, I want to build the Pizza Hut next. There we go. Lots of homes we're building now. That'll get that population up. Had a strike of pizza. That's a good one. Standing by. I'm going to wait for these houses to be done. I hope we play Tropico this week. It'll be fun. The new uh, Going Viral DLC. construction going on
Rabbit meat zero. Oh, but they're hunting deer. And boar. Yeah, so if you click if you click on each of these uh, things here, you can see how much of some of the things here are not shown, like uh, like the meat. Like we have no rabbit meat, but we are getting boar and deer. So we could deselect rabbit because we're not actually hunting those at the moment. But we can always just take a glance by hovering over the menu, clicking. Cool. All right, we're close to the 400 population. We're going to do it, chat. We're doing it. We're going to do it. Let's extend the tavern a little bit. Game's cool. Yeah, it's cool. It's pretty cool. Now to build a smelting works. Hmm. Build that there. Well, they want us to build another well. Probably build that in town and then build a bakery somewhere nearby. As we'll get a head start on the bakery that that we know is next. All right, population done. Coal hut. We got to build another one. Red Square Pizza always delivers. Coal mine there. All right. Mm-hmm. A weaving shed in a quarry near Limestone. I guess we need to train more people on combat for the guard towers. And a weaving shed. shed. I guess maybe down by the farms. Mm -hmm. 
Another quarry by the limestone. Oh, there's some more limestone there. Nice. Nice. Yo, Thunder Chicken with the 10 months as a raptor hatchling. Thank you very much for the support. Wow. New member, welcome. Thank you very much for the support. Chat's coming up with names for my Iron Curtain pizza game. Hey. Oh, are these bad? Looks like some of these have wilted or something. Now we'll put another well down. Just to make sure they've got access to it. Unless some crops are just supposed to fail. I can never remember where the hell it is. There it is. across the street, so uh, can't be any further than that. Switch sunglasses? It should work, but uh, I don't know. Like, the uh, U YouTube's API and, like, Streamlabs and stuff are really weird lately. Like, when people drop Super Chats and stuff, it the sound is almost taking up to, like, three minutes to go through YouTube's API to... Uh, Uh, to the stream thing. Truth, justice, and pizza, yeah. That's a good one. up core tail do we need a mill bread baked here transported to the market stalls as a meal oh yeah it does utilize flour how the hell do we make flour windmill there it is there is a windmill in the game I knew that Am I getting hot in the hoodie? Yeah, a little bit. We're at the point of the uh, year where, like, the um, the weather's cold in the morning, and then uh, as the sun rises, it starts heating up things. So it's like cold mornings, warm afternoon, uh, warm by noon, and then cools off pretty quickly again. So it's uh, it's hoodie weather even inside.
Bum, bum, bum. It's also that weird weather in Minnesota where a lot of people wear shorts and hoodies. Even I got that going on right now. You love the game so far? Good. Very good. Yeah, the town's pretty damn cool. You know, fitting all these buildings together in a small space kind of reminds me of, uh, what is it, uh, is it Kingdoms and Castles? Yeah. Actually, going back to what I mentioned before, again about Hooded Horse, the same people who are publishing Manor Lords and uh, a couple other games, they're also publishing Kingdoms and Castles is making a new game based on Rome called Nova Roma. And it looks exactly like Kingdoms and Castles, but rather than worrying about invi uh, invading Vikings and building defenses, it's more on water management. So you're building, like, reservoirs and aqueducts and bathhouses and things like that. And it looks a lot like Kingdoms and Castles. Looks good. Looks fun. It's a shame they didn't have a demo. I, di I didn't see it anyway. All right, we got to build a weaponsmith now. Probably an armorsmith next. Well, we'll start with the weapons. Yeah, we probably can't train guards without weapons, so that's why we're building the weaponsmith. And they want us to build a silver hut. There's some silver. Yeah, Age of Empires is great. I like that game. Hi, Andrew. Hello. Yeah, Age of Empires 4 was a lot of fun. Uh, we'll probably maybe play that again in the future. I really want them to add more factions to that game, but more importantly, like, more campaigns. I thought the campaign was really well done, and I learned a lot from it, and I'd like them to make more campaigns for other empires. Learn some history. And play some more multiplayer with the boys and try to do, like, Last Stand stuff. Yeah, we're playing a demo right now. Uh, but this demo so far, just for this first level, has lasted about three hours. So if you if you get this game now, you could probably play this one for about, like, maybe six to nine hours of just casual building. You do have to play on slow, though. There's no speeding up, but that's okay. They're adding new campaigns and factions now? Good, then I'll go back to Age of Empires as soon as those drop. I thought Age of Empires was cool. I liked it. Had a lot of fun watching Bradford uh, break through Jerry's walls and Jerry be mad because Jerry likes to be good at games. But Jerry, Jerry's not a try-hard. Jerry is just a just-is. Like, he's, he's just naturally talented in most of the games that he plays. He just is. Hey, what's up, Pat? Welcome back. Alright, so we're building a silver hut. We're building a weapon smith. We should be harvesting limestone. Weaving shed is under construction and guards should be trained as soon as uh, the weapon smith delivers to the academy. Bum, 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 bum. Look at the town, man. Chan, I think I think we might have to live stream that new uh, RoboCop game too. I think 
That's a good one. <laughs> Jerry equals Neo. Yeah, I want to play a game again with Jerry. I, I hope to eventually get each of my friends to have enough time to go through a full series of some sort, or at least get deep into things. It'll be lots of fun. But, you know, everybody's busy. They have a bunch of time, and then they don't. And that's just how life goes, you know. It is what it is. You want to call the game Pizza Stryka? Okay. That that could be good. Now we just got to make sure those games don't already exist on Steam or like itch.io. Oh, look at that. So the people choose the crop that they grow on their own. So they're growing flax, wheat, corn, cabbage, carrots, all on their own. Hmm. So I guess we could make a farm specific to something, but you have to select it via the farm. <laughs> That's like kind of how it works in uh, Timberborn. On approved PTO for the goof troop? Look. The whole joke about Lumberjack and Dirty taking PTO and me hammering on them to stream more is because they're good at what they do. They're talented, they're funny, and they entertain me too. So, and they'll be successful. And they kind of know that, but they don't know that yet. So I just keep telling them, like, hey, keep, you know, keep doing. It's like a restaurant where it's like, a restaurant, a diner in your town has a really good burger or they make a really good pizza and then they're like, they're going to remove it from the menu and you're like, are you crazy? This is the best thing at this place. Don't you do that. You keep making this uh, roast beef sandwich or this, this meatloaf sandwich, dude. Keep making this meatloaf sandwich. And they're like, oh, I don't know. I mean... We kind of want to branch out and do spaghetti. It's like, you can do spaghetti, but don't stop the meatloaf, bro. Ah, uh, Global with another five bomb. Dude, this guy won't stop. Thank you again, dude. It's very nice of you. Welcome to all the new members today. Thanks for all the big O super chats. And we're only on Thursday. We got a big weekend ahead of us, and City Skylines is right around the corner. Autumn is here. It's a very big favorite season of mine. Pumpkin carving soon. Gonna do that with family. When you're here, your family. Family. When you're here, your family. Family. When you're here, your family. Family. Dirty and Lumberjack are A shooters. Yeah, Lumberjack's a pretty good builder, too. I like uh, planning out things. I like building, too, but... Only when I'm a little less restricted. But you saw last night in the front how lo Like, I was gathering resources for us the entire night. And uh, we were able to build a house and a wall around it. So if I was doing all that alone, nothing would have gotten done. It would have just been a whole 24-7 lo logging stream. And then I was going to be able to build a house. Ariam, welcome back as a raptor egg. Good to see you. Monty Burns, good to see you too. Welcome, dude. I was power leveling? Yeah. Well, no doubt that Colt... Probably is like level 39 now or something. But, uh, yeah, we ended the game with me being the highest level player. And that seems to be really important in that game, but we'll see. I mean, I had a high level and I could unlock a lot of stuff, but we still need those talent points or whatever. We'll figure that out. We'll get to that. New member, welcome. Oh, now, now we got to build an armor smith. Armor Smith. Wait, that should be under. There we go. Green eyes in the chat. Another new member. And get bombs too. Wow.
Hmm. Ah, uh, yep. Yep. Stone mill. More stone is needed. Of live. Put our market, I mean, our uh, mill there. Boom. <sighs> Who'd win a rap battle? Well, I'm already, like, part rap, so... There's the tour part, too, but... Yeah, this game is uh, inspired by the... Deve uh, the the developer from The Settlers made this game, so, yeah. It's inspired by their other game you may have heard of. Almost built like one of everything in the game. We have a treasury we could build, I guess. Put that over by the military. Got to build another smelting works and a mint now. So yeah, with that silver, we're probably going to make coins, and that's got to go to the treasury. Sneak in houses. You're cooking bacon. Sounds nice. You know, playing this chat has made me also want to play... Oh, uh, another thing is, too, we had a sponsored video earlier this week on the channel. Uh, the, they're making a new Stronghold game. 
And they're remaking the original game, but they're also adding like 14 new missions and Steam multiplayer and a ton of other stuff to modernize the game. And they have a free demo for the uh, Definitive Edition, so you guys should definitely check that out too. And If you're interested in Stronghold, you can try it out before it comes out on like uh, November 7th. And that's when I want to play multiplayer with all my friends, because I love Stronghold. We've done like two or three playthroughs on the channel. I think we have like two full playthroughs of it, and I did a live stream playthrough of it too. And uh, and I want to play some multiplayer, but currently to like get uh, Stronghold to run, you got to like jump through some hoops and stuff, and it's like, yeah, I kind of just want to just play it on Steam and make it easy. So, uh, yeah, if you're liking this, try out uh, Stronghold as well. There's like... There's like three campaign missions available for the demo, and then like two more like siege modes where you can both defend and attack a castle, and it's uh, it's pretty crazy. But uh, yeah, what we plan to play is on our schedule down below in the description. We've got pretty much like almost three streams a day planned and a video, and it's still not enough time for everything that's new and everything that has a demo. So just check down below, and if there's something you think's pretty cool don't be afraid to play it too because those those games are free right now free demos I just won't be able to get to everything no way I'll try but no way gotta build a new town somewhere maybe we could build uh, around here well, at least we're building a lot of new homes Build another smelting works. Yeah, I think we want to get more people working now. Man, this demo is a beefy one, though. Uh, we could put a woodcutter down here and clear this out and build a new town. That'll take a minute. Do I think Vin Diesel will like this game? Yeah, I mean, there's nothing but families. Families are living in these houses. Family. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, I think Colt told me about that uh, the, the, the tribe game as well. I want to play that too. Uh, there's too many games. Mm-hmm. Levi, thanks for the five. Epic does something nice where a portion of a game goes towards a creator with a code. Yeah, if this game's on uh, Epic. I'm not sure if it is or not. Just use code Raptori at checkout if you if you buy it. But, you know, get games wherever you prefer. If you prefer them on Epic or if you play a weekly free game on the Epic Game Store, use code Raptori at checkout. I would like that. That'd be cool. Ebiz, 15 months is a bear cub. Jason Bearhees. Bum, 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 bum. Planted wheat. Mm -hmm. Growth 84, not har harvestable yet. Interesting. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Ch 
chat. I think um, I think my OBS froze. I don't know if you can hear me or see me. Might have to. Uh, I can't even control Alt Delete. Oh boy. Let me check and see if I'm still live. Oh, you can hear me? Okay. Everything is froze on my PC. It looks like I'm not even live. I'm, I'm logging in on my phone to see the chat. Wait, how do I open the chat? Damn you, YouTube. Get the ads out of the way. Okay. Okay, so it's it's amazing, Chad. Like I've got like the entire system is locked up completely. Interesting. Nothing looks wrong to you. Yeah, I got I got nothing. I got nothing. OBS is completely frozen. The game is completely frozen. I, I can't open a new web page or anything like that. I can't open the taskbar. <laughs> um. Anyway. Only the game's frozen? Yeah, because I can't tab back into it. Weird. Anyway, um, here's what we're going to do. Hold on. All right. I'm going to get this fixed. Anyway, chat, this is the end of our stream for... Uh, Pioneers of... Petunia. <laughs> anyway, our next video is going live right now. It's going to pop up there in the chat. So click or tap that link that I'm spamming and uh, become a member today. Click or tap the like button, subscribe. I'm going to have to uh, end the stream here and then, like, I don't know, restart my computer and then, like, end the stream and then get ready for my next stream. So, anyway, check out that video that I just spammed in the chat. I think you'll like it. Um, yeah, should be a cool one. So there's the link to it. Do me a big old favor. Click or tap that... Uh, that link there, and I'll see you all in a bit, I guess. Can I play sound effects? I can't even play sound effects. Everything's completely, completely locked up. That's amazing. All right, I'll see you guys soon. I'm out, I guess. Bye. I gotta, I gotta figure this out.